we're Trent and Allie, and sometimes you need to take a break and enjoy the snow. <laughs> and this week, there's a lot of it. What is it called? Um, curling? <laughs> yeah, there it is. What is that, two feet? That, that's Deeny Deep. Deeny Deep right there. <laughs> but that won't stop us from making progress on the house. Propane in my membrane. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And that was the tinder that started an enormous fire that became a huge fight in the kitchen. Obviously, no one was... It was a fight. Come along today as we battle the elements and look on the bright side of living in the mountains. You got really nice hair going on right now. Frosted. <laughs> yeah, Bring very back frosted. The 90s. <laughs> very frosted. What's up guys and good morning. Today we are starting off the day doing something a little bit different. We're going skiing. As you guys see pretty much every day we work and it snows and we work on the house and it snows and it's just this winter wonderland that we live in where there's absolutely amazing skiing. In fact, here in Utah, the slogan that's on most of the license plates or at least used to always be is the greatest snow on earth. And we haven't gotten to enjoy the snow that much. So today we're taking a break. We're not gonna be doing any work on the house. There's only one problem. And that's that we're brand new to skiing. <laughs> this should probably be really entertaining for anybody that knows how to ski. And if you don't know how to ski, it's still fun to watch people fall. So we're meeting up with our friend Brian and hopefully his wife, Shawnee. We're not quite sure if Shawnee's gonna come or not, but we're really hoping that she does. We're heading up to the slopes. We're gonna have a good day today. which means there's a lot of fresh snow, which is great. That's what everybody wants. There is gonna be a lot of fresh powder, that fresh pow pow that everybody's after up there. So one, it's gonna be really busy. Two, it's supposed to snow pretty much all day, but all I'm seeing right now is like pretty much blue skies, which could make it be an incredible day, but it's supposed to like have a 90% chance of snow by like 10 a.m. and then snow all day. And if that happens, that means the clouds roll in, it starts snowing, your visibility is like 20 feet, the powder is deep, and we're probably gonna crash a lot. Also, it might be kind of hard to film in those conditions, but we're gonna do our best to take you guys with us. We're gonna have an awesome day today. We did just get some news that Brian's wife, Shawnee, is actually coming with us as well. We're super stoked. There's gonna be all four of us packed in the truck, heading up to the slopes here in just a minute. Hey, hey girl. How you feeling? Good, how are you? We're bundled up, we're ready to go. This is probably the coldest day that we've been out skiing this entire season. I think it's like 15 degrees right now. The clouds are rolling in, it's starting to snow, <sighs> but it's gonna be a good day. Remember when I told you guys a minute ago, I was like, look at how sunny and wonderful it is. Well, the storm has rolled in, the clouds are here, visibility is low, and the temperature has absolutely dropped. We gotta go and get our passes and get on the lift before everybody beats us to it. As you can see, there's a million people here, so we gotta go. Well, we made it onto the lift. The sun is kind of coming out and the clouds are not feeling as cold. Look like at the... this, look how beautiful that is. Can you guys see that? So we made it to Deer Valley Resort, which is a beautiful resort in Park City, Utah. People from all over the world ski here. And we're just lucky enough to live in this state and have it be nearby. So it's basically right in our backyard. We're gonna do our best to take you along and we're gonna have some fun today. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> all getting off the lift, and that's step number one. <laughs> We 
Ryan and I have spent enough time with our wives. I think we're going to send them off to go have fun on their own. Ryan and I are going to try and tackle some tougher terrain. Don't be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be nice to him. Be nice to him. <laughs> And on the low light, there's like all these bumps. You just gotta send this straight and like have have decent balance in your legs. Just kind of let your legs absorb it and then carve once you get past the bumps. Mm -hmm. You agree, Brian? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's Trent doing? It's amazing for how little experience he has. Honestly. <laughs> so Brian was basically sending me down some black diamonds that I probably shouldn't have been on, but I was I was holding my own. And we came up to a little spot where there's two trees, and Brian like sent it in between the trees, and it's like pretty deep powder, just nice and floated down this little hill. And he's like, "You should do that." And I was like, "Oh, we should be filming this." And I'm like, "Brian." We should film this! But he's like so far away, I can't get him the camera. And so you guys don't, you don't get to see it, you just get to hear the story. So I go to go up right next to the trees where I'm like trying to position myself because I'm not good enough to just like send it in. I have to like position myself and then like, okay, in. and then like go for it. And so I like get kind of close and then I stop and then I start sliding backwards and the powder's like so deep that my skis start going like subterranean and then there's like bushes coming out of in between my legs and like the powder's so deep that when I'm pushing my poles in the ground, they're just going all the way into the ground, like four feet. Brian was like, just laughing hysterically. Yeah. I was like, we should be filming this. <laughs> Part of the day because you're full, you're tired, all your blood's in your stomach from eating lunch, and then you have to go up on a lift in the freezing cold. You get super chilly, and uh, it's snowing now too, so that makes it really fun. All right, so when you go skiing, what you're generally looking for is a day when it's nice and warm, the sky is blue, the snow is soft. It's called a bluebird day. This is the exact opposite of what you're normally looking for. We're out here having a good time, but these are definitely not ideal conditions. You know what? It could be better. It could be worse. But I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> it's going to get pretty gnarly here, so Brian and I are going to have to put away the video camera. See you guys in a few. Oh my gosh. Woo! What a day. Ah, that was awesome. I think everyone except for Brian got hit over their head at some <laughs> point today. I definitely had a blast though. Ah, oh, that was such a fun day of skiing. I absolutely love skiing it's been something that like I've, we've just learned recently so i'm not like really good at it and so it's challenging and i feel like i make such a big amount of progress every time we go but now that we're home i think ellie and i are actually just going to kick back and watch some netflix and tonight we're going to be watching netflix shows that we normally can't watch and we're going to be doing that because of today's sponsor Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. If you guys don't know what Surfshark is, it's a VPN, a virtual private network. It's something that actually encrypts your information coming in and going out to the internet so that anyone that tries to get a hold of it won't be able to get your personal information like your social security number or your bank account information or maybe just passwords to your computer. Now you're probably asking yourself, how are you gonna watch Netflix with a virtual private network? Well, the way that it works is Netflix in the United States gives you a certain list of TV shows and movies that you can watch. Now what Surfshark does is they actually change where you're logging in from. So you can say, I'm logging in from Australia. 
Well, Netflix has different TV shows and movies in Australia than they do in the United States. And basically, you don't have to pay anything to access these, you just have to use your Surfshark. If you guys are interested in trying Surfshark, I highly recommend it. And if you don't have a VPN, you absolutely should. And it doesn't cost that much money, so go ahead and check it out. Click the link in our description, and just for our viewers, they're actually giving 83% off and three months for free. So thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Me and Allie are gonna kick back and watch some Netflix and we'll see you in the morning. You guys, there's some things I need to update you on. Allie and I have been skiing a few times this season and it's been totally fine. We're learning and we're like taking it easy and I always ski with Allie and so we like are relaxed and we have a good time and I'm like okay the next day but yesterday I went with Brian. And Brian's been skiing since he was like five years old or something. And so he took me on all these crazy double black diamonds and crazy tree runs with the big moguls and the rocks and the trees and all the gnarly things. And basically I feel like I did a thousand squats yesterday. <laughs> I like tossed and turned all night. I woke up this morning and I'm just like, I'm so beat. I'm like, my back is sore from like pulling on the ski poles when you're like pushing yourself. Needless to say, I'm absolutely worked today, but that's no excuse. We have work to do. So yesterday was a nice vacation. And today it snowed all night last night. And so there's like a foot of snow out there. We need to go and do a bunch of snow removal. There's a lot of snow, so I don't even know if Dean's gonna make it up here today, but if he does make it up here, we're gonna try to do some HVAC stuff. If he doesn't make it up here, who knows what we're gonna do, but we're going to start the day off with a little bit of snow removal. Tired snowflakes are coming down. What are you, Trent for Halloween? <sighs> There's a lot of snow out there. I need to really bundle up. This is like my exact hat and my snowsuit. I really like you. I'm just trying to be just like you. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to go out and get the tractor started and we're going to start trying to remove some of the snow. Wish us luck. Ready, Frank? So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing Okay Oh no Oh no Frank, this way The snow is so deep Oh Frank boy Oh my gosh Oh no <laughs> Look at the Forerunner. <laughs> There's so much snow on it. The Land Cruiser? Yeah. <laughs> it looks huge. You can see that the deck has like at least 12 inches of snow. And that in itself is like over an hour of work to get that off. I don't know how, but we somehow developed these snow removal rolls where Trent mans the snowblower on the deck and the tractor to snow blow the driveway and the road which is great, it's really helpful. It's also really comfortable because he's in a warm cab. He's like standing behind this automatic pusher snowblower. And somehow it's my job to shovel everything around the shelter logic. So if you can see right here, there's a lot of snow. A lot of it has compacted already because it's been sloughing off the roof of the shelter logic. So I have to go through and dig layer by layer to un- Uncompact. To uncompact all of the snow. <laughs> Let's just say Trent is really sore from skiing yesterday. I'm just sore thinking about shoveling right now. <laughs> all I have to say is in this family, we believe in strong, independent women, and we don't believe in gender roles, which means I should have to feel no guilt for Allie wanting to shovel and me wanting to drive the tractor. I should be able to drive the tractor sometimes too. Absolutely. Today is that day. Is that a break, boy? Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Let's go! 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 Pass is done. Probably three or four more passes on this side. Just 
to cut the snow a little bit lower. Then we'll move over to the other side. Okay, I'm finally done working on this side of the shelter logic, at least for now, honestly. I shoveled away as much as I could, but so much of it is compacted. I feel like I need an ice pick to chip away at everything that's just layers of ice at this point. So all the powder is gone and I'm fine with that for now. Now I'm moving on to this side of the shelter logic and I feel like it's way harder over here. If you can see, it just looks like four or five feet of very thick snow. The wind drifts from this side, so it ends up being a little bit taller and a little bit heavier and I always do it second, so maybe I'm just more tired by the time I get to it. But this is definitely a great way to start off your morning if you're looking to get in a fantastic full body workout. Trent's down here having a blast, sipping on his morning coffee, listening to some music in his nice warm heated cab. I'm gonna get back to this part and uh, we'll see how far I can get. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much? Oh, I'm not even halfway done. Oh, it's so hot. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put I was like clearing on. some stuff out of the way and thought there was just a big stick in the middle of where Trent is about to pull in the tractor. So I was like, oh, I better move this stick out of the way. It was a piece of frozen dog poop. I don't know if you've ever had to clean off snow off of your car before. This is literally the most snow I think I've ever <laughs> like swept off the top of a vehicle. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> what is it called? Um, curling? Yeah. Do, you, do you do some curling on the My car? curling practice. <laughs> yeah. Curling muscles down. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> I knew this day would come. You're gonna set me up with the pusher snowblower and I'm gonna do the deck while you guys start getting to work inside. Just so that you can see within the first five minutes that it's not an easy, fun process. She's like, you just get a like, la di da. And I have to shovel and I'm like, I almost drive that thing off the deck every single time I use it. <laughs> it doesn't just drive through the snow. You have to like manhandle the crap out of it and it's like a hundred pounds. Well, if you wanna know how much snow fell since we were here Friday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This was plowed Friday. That's knee deep. What is that, two feet? That's, that's Deeny deep. Deeny deep right there. <laughs> so back here behind the shelter logic, this is actually where our furnace exhausts. So we have this pipe that comes out the back of the, uh, the shelter logic, and then it does a pretty good job of melting the snow because it's always blowing hot air, so we're not worried about it getting covered. But the snow, as you can see, is like getting really insane back here. So we're, we're clearing it out. And one thing I'm really glad about is that next year, this won't be a thing. So when we do have a real winter and this would be like completely covered and, and piled over, we won't have this. We'll be living in the house with a real furnace and a real wood stove and Terry won't need to be our only means of survival out here. <laughs> what a fun morning. Oh my goodness. As much as I absolutely appreciate Trent's uh, snowsuit here, it's too big for me. It makes it a little bit difficult to move around. And now that Dean and Brandon are here, I think we're gonna head into the house to get some work done. So luckily I can take this off. How are you doing in here? Do you wanna come inside and play? You wanna come inside? Okay. Man, I always had stories about the city lines. And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out See what it's all about but the traffic Oh boy Oh boy, let's go A lot of you guys have been wondering how Frank gets up on the deck Because he can't climb a ladder Some dogs can Frank is not one of them 
but there is another path that he creates that is now completely snowed in for how he normally gets up. Let's go together. Go ahead, go, 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 go. Normally he just runs around to the other side of the deck, but the snow is like four feet deep over here. So I think I'm just gonna pass him up to Trent. Oh, daddy, I'll take you up. There you go. There, there you go. go. Come here, Frank. Good boy. This way. Good boy. Oh, yes. Come on, let's go inside. Thank you for the lift. You're welcome. Five. Have to wait to simple life. We're starting to map out our kitchen, which I'm so excited about. We're gonna have sink and cabinets here, more cabinets and appliances over here, and then a big island in the middle facing the window, gorgeous view, some bar stools, you can watch TV, it'll be awesome. But we have to be pretty specific about where the island is gonna go because Dean is a pain in the is a pain in the is very detail oriented and wants to make it perfect. So we're trying to figure out exactly uh, where the island placement will be because our stove actually goes in the island and he needs to I would say I'm not as much detail oriented as much as I don't want to drive up here again. <laughs> <laughs> Just for one little thing. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Allie and I don't normally fight. <laughs> we're usually in agreement on most things. And if we're not, we're going to have a civil discussion about why we should do one thing or why we should do another. Dean made us decide just barely. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Dean just made us decide where the island in the kitchen was gonna go. Oh man. And okay. that was the tinder that started an enormous fire that became a huge fight in the kitchen. Obviously, no one was, it was a fight. If you wanna test your relationship, build a house together. Build That's all house. I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> now we've figured out where the island is gonna go and Dean is downstairs running some of the gas line and trying to get some of the shutoffs in place. We need to figure out where the island is so we can stub the gas up to put the uh, cooktop, the range in there. Allie is really amped to run the snowblower. She thinks it's really easy. She thinks it's fun. And after she does it for about two and a half minutes, I'll probably take over. But we're gonna show her how to plow the deck and hopefully she doesn't run the snowblower off the deck or into the house or Ye of little Anything. faith. Anything. Ye of little faith. Also, it's like not compacted. It's just like lightly fallen fluffy snow, so the snowblower will just mow right through it. After it comes off the roof, it's like concrete, and the snowblower does not want to go through it. So it's very strugglesome, but you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, I wasn't recording. I just hate it when you do that. <laughs> having trouble now. It's just a fun, relaxing thing. You just walk behind it and just have fun. It's super fun, I love it. How do you turn it around? <laughs> Handles are heated, so my hands are like hot right now. It's unbelievable, and that is super fun. You have to let me do that more often. <laughs> you got really nice hair going on right now. Frosted. <laughs> yeah, Bring very it back frosted. 90s. <laughs> but I just want to point out another thing. Right outside the sunroom window, yeah. that is the level of <laughs> snow that has come off of this small roof. This is the lightest snow on record in this area. Originally, that's where I wanted to put a hot tub, but now after seeing how much snow comes off the roof, it's a small roof, it's not that much. Um, we cannot put a hot tub there. <laughs> <laughs> Down to Dean's lair. Basically what Dean's been installing today is, this is the gas line or the propane line manifold, and there's shutoff switches for everything. There's the point where it feeds in. There's a lot of propane in this house. Luckily, yeah. Dean is a trained professional, and there's not gonna be any leaks. Propane in my membrane. <laughs> 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 
All right, guys, I guess it's done now. That's where it's gonna go, huh? So this is a hole that we drilled in the middle of our kitchen. There's gonna be an island here and the gas line is gonna come up right there to feed our gas range. And we really hope it's in the right spot. <laughs> It's like, I'll go home right now. <laughs> Everything is now fully connected. The gas lines are all uh, set up and we're turning on the propane to check for leaks. Do it this way, everybody. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> the 1900s way of testing for a all gas right. leak. Wait, did you unplug it? We can turn the furnace back on now. You didn't find any leaks? <laughs> no. We're all set. Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dean's a little bit better HVACer than I am a plumber, okay? But it was my first time. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a little gas stub out for our cooktop. Because we don't want to accidentally kick it because then it would release propane all throughout the house, Brandon is creating a little home to protect it. That is so cute. A little dog house for the gas valve. <laughs> exactly. Helping Dean's a lot of work, let me tell you that. He's doing pretty much all of the work and I'm really just watching, but I'm learning a lot. Looks like a pro did that, right? <laughs> totally. Cool. We're not gonna look at that anymore. <laughs> So this right here is a big shiny bracket and it's actually gonna hold our heat recovery ventilator, which is a really cool device that I'll be explaining for the next 10 years <laughs> until I fully understand it. <laughs> Basically it takes fresh air from outside and mixes it with stale air from inside. They transfer heat so that the cold air becomes warmer and then it goes into your air conditioning and heating system and gets dispersed throughout your house and Basically, it's just taking out crappy air and putting in fresh air. Everyone just now was not listening to you and only looking at Brandon balancing this <laughs> lantern on his head. <laughs> As if no one knew what I was going through. Hey, look at that. Really, it sits like that? Oh, see? We need a brace, Brandon. Just right, for that. Remember that rubber bumper, baby buggy bumper? <laughs> rubber baby buggy bumper, you know that? <laughs> Now that most of the mechanicals are in place, we have a couple extra accessories that we're trying to install right now. The first is the HRV that Trent talked about, the heat recovery ventilator. But then there's also a humidifier that will connect directly to the furnace to help humidify the air in the house because Utah is super dry. The last thing is an air purifier to help clean the air as we circulate it through the house. This actually produces steam instead of like a swamp cooler, they call it a, by a bypass. Mm. to plug it in just to see the purple light and where we haven't done the ceiling yet we'll probably be able to see it through there right here where well, you guys didn't do your homework yet yeah i know we have some stuff Wait, let's to do cool it down. i don't know if you guys can see but it's glowing in here down here too and up there yeah. and over here now we know all the spots that dean forgot to seal <laughs> just kidding we did the ceiling <laughs> Oh, 
Well, today has been an incredible day. Not only did we get pretty much all the ducting done, except for one elbow that Dean accidentally took home with him last time, but we're gonna get that done next time. We got the UV sanitizer put in, the humidifier, the HRV got hung, like we didn't get to do all the pipes, but that's also gonna happen next time too. I think the next time we see you guys, we're gonna finish all the HVAC stuff, and then I think we're gonna start doing all of the water supply, which is gonna be really exciting. And less time consuming than the drain system. Absolutely, I no, hope. I'll hold you to that. We're gonna be using the Oopener system, which I think is more fail proof and more idiot proof, and we need that. <laughs> Good. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios.